In this tutorial, you will learn how to combine multiple things which are out of place and not in harmony. For example, we will use this background image over here and blend the different pictures of a turtle and car to make a turtle on wheels. For that, we will need first an image of a car. With the image opened up in Photoshop, we will first make a selection of the entire canvas. For that, you can move to the Select menu and click on the All option. With that done, let's copy the entire selection. You can do that by going to the Edit menu and clicking on the Copy option. Now, let's move to the other document and paste the selection there. For that, let's open up the other document with the background image opened up. Move to the Edit menu once more and select the Paste option. Now we will zoom into the image and pick up the pen tool from the toolbar on the left side of the window. With that done, we will make a selection of the car over here. Before starting, make sure the path mode is enabled. With the pen tool, what you want to do is trace over the image by making anchor points. You can even follow the curvature of the object by dragging the cursor and bringing out the direction handles. Now you can move the cursor and trace out the curve properly. You can even use the polygonal lasso tool for making a selection as well, but for now, let's stick to the pen tool. Once the entire car has been traced, simply click on the Selection button next to the Make option above. This will open up the Make Selection window. Over here, we will keep the feather radius to zero, and once we hit OK, you can see here that the path has become a selection. Now we will press Shift, Control, I to inverse the selection. Pressing the delete button will now remove the background of the car image. Now let's zoom out of the image a bit. You can use the move tool to change the position of the car in the canvas. With that done, press Ctrl T to resize the car according to the background image. You can use the corner placeholders to decrease the size of the image. Now let's zoom into the image once more. Notice that since the car was brought from a different background, the car windows over here don't quite match up. So let's blend the image with the background by picking up the pen tool. We will use the tool to trace out this window over here. Just be careful not to trace the back seat, since we only need to make a selection of the portion of the window which shows the background. With that done, let's make a selection of the path. After that, simply delete the selection. The same has to be done with the rest of the windows here. Next, we will open up the image of a turtle in Photoshop. With that done, let's bring this image on the canvas we are working on. For that, first let's make a selection of the entire document. With that done, we will copy the selection and move to the other document. Over here, we will paste the image in the document. If you get a paste profile mismatch error, you can ignore that by clicking on the OK button here. This notification is usually shown when the source document may be using a different color profile. Therefore, when you force it into a document with a different color profile, it may be rendered differently. Once the image is pasted on the document, we will press the Ctrl T key and resize the image. Remember, the turtle and the car should be roughly the same size. Once done, let's right click on the image and flip it horizontally. Now we will zoom in on the image and use the pen tool to carefully create an outline around the turtle, like we did previously with the car. Since we're going to replace the turtle's clawed feet with tires, you don't need to trace them out properly, as we will be removing them later anyway. Once the image has been traced, we will convert the path into a selection by clicking on this button next to the Make option. Keep the Feather option to zero and hit OK. Once the selection has been made, press shift Control i to inverse the selection and hit Delete to remove the background. With that done, you can press Ctrl D to remove the current selection. After that, we will duplicate this layer. For that, we will move to the Layers panel towards the right side of the screen. Right click on the layer and click on the Duplicate Layer option. With that done, let's hide the original layer for now. After that, we will use Ctrl T to activate the Transform tool, and first we will resize the image a bit and position it properly on the car behind. Next, we will hold the Control key while the Transform tool is activated. Now, while dragging any of the handles, the corners will be distorted and skewed independently. We will basically transform this image to best fit the car behind. You can play around with different positions till the front image is almost proportionally the same as the image behind. With that done, we will add a layer mask and reduce the opacity of the layer so that the car becomes visible. 
After that, we will pick up the brush tool with the soft default brush selected, and using black color for the fill, we will apply the brush on the parts of the image we want to remove. Remove all the extra parts of the turtle's body, such that only the shell remains. After that, we will right-click on the layer mask and click on the Apply Layer Mask option. This will permanently apply the changes that we have made through the layer mask. Next, we will press the Control T key to enable the free transform tool. With that done, right-click and select the Warp option. Now let's move the bottom two edges inwards, in this case, towards the right to shape up the shell. In the same way, we will move the rest of the outer edges inwards to transform it into the shape of a car. You can try out different things with the warp tool to better shape the shell. Next, from the layer panel, let's move the hidden layer to the top and unhide it. On this layer, we will remove the whole body except the head. So first, let's position the image accordingly and increase the size of the image a bit. There are a number of things you can try to blend the image. For example, let's skew the image a bit. For that, simply press and hold the control key, and let's move the bottom placeholder over here towards the right side like so. Now let's add a layer mask and pick up the brush tool. Make sure you have a soft brush selected, with hardness set to 0%. With black color selected for the fill, start applying the brush over the parts of the image you want to remove, which in this case would be the whole body except the head. So this is what we have so far. Let's merge the two layers before we move any further. Now we will add the windows and tires on this image. So let's zoom in the image and hide the turtle layer for now. With that done, let's pick up the pen tool and trace the car window here in the same way as we did before, that is, making anchor points with the pen tool and tracing over the image. With that done, let's convert the path into a selection. After that, let's unhide the turtle layer and select it. With that done, simply hit the delete button. This will leave room for windows on the turtle shell. The same has to be done for the rest of the car windows. We will be using the same technique for the tires as well. That is, using the pen tool to make a selection of the tire, selecting the turtle layer, and hitting the delete button. To make a shadow, let's create a new layer above the background layer. After that, we will make a selection using the pen tool and fill it with black color. You can use the shortcut key Control Backspace for that if the background color is already set to black. After that, we will reduce the opacity to 64% for now. Next, let's apply the Gaussian Blur filter on the shadow layer. For that, open up the filter menu, move over to Blur, and select the Gaussian Blur option. Over here, we will set the radius to 8.4 and apply the filter. Now you can play around with different levels of opacity to see what feels right. Lastly, we will select the topmost layer, that is the turtle layer, and let's change the colors a bit so that it blends with the background. For that, open up the image menu, move over to adjustments, and click on the color balance option. Over here, we will change the blue and yellow midtones and add a bit of green to the image. For the exact values, we have used 0 for cyan and red, plus 5 for magenta and green, minus 23 for yellow and blue, midtones for the tone balance, and have enabled the preserve luminosity option. You can work with different values and check out the output in real time. And that's it. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.